What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and this is a pretty prolific rainstorm here in Los Angeles. Streets are flooded. There's damage. There's mudslides. In fact, we almost had five inches in a single day yesterday, but that's not a record. So I wanted to find out what are the top three single day rainfall totals in Los Angeles history. And by the way, number one is responsible for changing the course of Los Angeles history. Let's get into it. So look, 4.1 inches in downtown Los Angeles in one day is a ton of rain but it's not exactly the rain record. It is the rain record for February 4th, but I'm talking about the single day highest rainfall totals throughout LA history. On December 28th, 2004, downtown Los Angeles had 5.55 inches of rain, widespread throughout the county, causing major damage, including sinkholes in Sun Valley, and even tornadoes in Whittier, Long Beach, and Inglewood. Hmm. The second rainiest day in downtown Los Angeles history was January 26, 1956, which measured 5.71 inches. This was part of a two-day deluge that dropped 8.53 inches on the city. Most of the damage was done in the South Bay, with El Segundo and Torrance, Gardena, and Lawndale being particularly hard hit. Houses were damaged, streets became lakes, and cars were swamped, and of course, schools were closed. But the most rainfall in a single day in Los Angeles history occurred on March 2nd, 1938, when 5.88 inches fell on downtown Los Angeles. Now, the damage here was impactful, specifically because this was two days after a storm had already dropped four and a half inches on Los Angeles. Now, the ground had been saturated. There was already minor flooding. And late the night of March 1st, the rain started coming and it came hard and fast. On March 2nd, that storm dropped more than 10 inches on mountain areas. The mountains and the valleys felt it the worst. Parts of the LA River washed through bridges and structures that were standing at that point. Damage was major and widespread. The natural and wild LA River couldn't be tamed, but that's the reason why the LA city government decided to deal with the river in a completely different way moving forward. In fact, the flooding from the 1938 storm was so severe that once the rain died down, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers made the L.A. River into a concrete channel to prevent future flooding and get the rainwater right out to the Pacific Ocean. And that changed the course of Los Angeles history. Wow. So look, this is a pretty serious storm, but it's not the single day rainfall record in Los Angeles. And now you know the top three, including number one, which literally changed the course of the L.A. River and Los Angeles history. All right, LA, it's been a minute.